In this video, I'm going to share another tip of what not to say when handling angry customers. And rest assured, I'll also share a tip for what to say to prevent people from becoming angry in the first place. I'm Jeff Moen. For over 30 years, managers have brought me in to work with their teams to enhance customer service internally and externally. And one of the things that we find most often, I'll bet you've experienced this as well, is that you enjoy your job, but then you're dealing with a customer who is just unpleasant. Well, as it turns out, oftentimes we create that unpleasant behavior in the way we communicate with a customer. And one of the most common ways we do that is imagine this. Imagine that, that you're the customer and you're asking me when I can get something done. So I'm looking at my screen, my inventory, and I see we're in back order, we're behind. And so I'm thinking you're going to be upset as a customer when I, when I tell you that this is going to be a delay, that it won't be here until next Friday. So what comes out is that, you know, I'm putting a negative spin on it going, oh, it won't be here until Friday. As you can imagine, people pick up on negatives and then the customer goes, oh, really? Not until Friday? Gee whiz, can you, can you pick it up? They become more demanding. Well, I wonder whose fault that was. I think I actually created that situation in the way I put a negative spin in. So my suggestion for all of us is when you're giving information, word your messages positively. So same scenario, same deadline that I'm looking at. And yet when it's time to communicate to you as the customer, what's going on, we could put it along a positive spin saying, oh, it'll be here as soon as Friday. And now the customer thinks, well, you know, he seems happy about it. Woohoo! Okay, Friday. It is amazing how much influence we have over our customer's behavior and attitude and response when we're more positive ourselves. Fact is, they don't probably know our deadlines. What they have been hearing is there's supply chain shortages, there's delays, there's shortages of people. So most people are almost geared up to understand about delays. But if we can word it as a positive, it'll be here as soon as next month. You know, usually that it's, it's a lot longer than that. So that's my suggestion to you. Word your messages positively. I hope you found this to be helpful. And if you like this video, I think you're going to love my tips. You'll find them for free at jeffsbusinesstips.com. See you next time.